Hi, yes, so I'm here to do a video based on Urban Decay's Book of Shadows, Volume 2. I wore uh, this particular look today at college and had a number of people comment on how much they liked it. So I thought I'd recreate it for um, YouTube just in case anyone's interested. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that um, I generally put on foundations and things beforehand. It's just because I can only get 10 minutes at a time, so it's just to speed things up, really. So I'll put a note in the description box just to uh, tell you what I use for foundation, concealer, powder, etc. So I'm going to start off, um, obviously, with the eye. Uh, on here at the moment, I've just put my foundation, a bit of concealer and a bit of powder. I tend to find it really helps uh, other products that I put on top of that stick. So the other thing that I'm going to use now, I, I can't, I've recommended these loads in my other videos and they're um, Max Paint Pots. They really help um, make the eyeshadow stick to the eye. They also, if you wear certain colours together, uh, it really um, brings out the colour as well or even can make it look slightly different so it gives you different ways of uh, wearing certain eyeshadows so this one I'm putting on at the moment is called Painterly as you can see it's quite a neutral colour it's not unlike a concealer really but that's called Painterly so I've just put that all over the eye and then I'm going to take another paint pot again from MAC this one's called Constructivist it's a dark brown goldy colour. I'm just using a thin brush for that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that from the uh, corner of the eye there and I'm just going to take that along the crease. This doesn't have to be that precise because you are going to be going over it with eyeshadow but you do really need to get the shape that you're wanting go over it with, if that makes sense. So I'm taking that about three quarters of the way along and I'm just going to paint it in slightly at the edge there. I tend to find if you put a darker colour on the edge of your eye, on the outer corner, it gives your eye a much nicer shape. I'm just taking it slightly along the lash line there as well. And then with the same paint pot, I'm going to take that along the bottom lashes about half the way in this time. From there I'm going to go on to uh, the Urban Decay Book of Shadows. Urban Decay tend to bring these out every so often. Uh, this one I got at Christmas time. That's Christmas 2009. So the first colour I'm going to use is called Twice Baked. It's that this dark brown colour here. Now I'm just using a fluffy brush with this. This brush I actually got with um, oh, what's it called? The Academy of Freelance Makeup, that's the one, sorry, my mind went to blank there. Uh, I got that within a pack that they had in a belt. Um, so it's just a fluffy brush. I know the MAC does similar things, but I, I really like this one. And I'm just taking the Twice Baked along where the Constructivist paint pot, where I, where I, where I put that. You can go, I've gone slightly beyond it. If you see on the other eye there, it's died down. And I'm going to go underneath the eye as well. Again, just covering the paint pot.
So now I'm going to take um, Max 239 brush. There we go. And I'm going to use Half Baked, which is this shadow there. I'm going to go along the eyelid itself and then just slightly in the corner there just meeting up with the twice baked just so you don't have any gaps really I'm going to take it underneath the eye just along the uh, lash line there I'm going to take the fluffy brush again and I'm just going to blend those two colours together. And then finally from the uh, book of shadows I'm going to take this colour here. That's called Sellout. Kind of, um, let's see, maybe it's like a pinky, pearly kind of colour. Um, it's just a really nice highlighter. I'm just going to take that along the uh, brow bone there. Again, I'm just going to take the fluffy brush and blend it in a bit better. I'm just trying to find that eyeliner. Sorry. It was all organised before and then go and lose things. Now this is just um, a soft black pe um, black coal. This one's actually from George and Asda. I think they're on offer about £1.50 at the moment. They're actually quite good eyeliners. I'm just going to take that all the way along the top lash line there. Unfortunately, it's not quite as soft a liner as, say, Smolder by MAC. Um, but it does the trick. I suppose it's a cheap alternative. £1.50 to, I think, £11 for the MAC pencils. So. It'll do. And obviously I've taken it down the bottom there as well. Just taking it on the inside as well. Along the water line. Now what I'm going to do is, I don't, this has actually got a smudger thing on the end. I'm not a big fan of those, I prefer using a, a harsher pencil brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away. This one's actually by Mac. Mac, I think it's a 219 brush. So what I'll do is I'll go away, I'll get that smudged, and then I'll come back in the second video just to finish off the look. Bye.